Hello traders, welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at PFX. I hope you all uh, are safe in these um, lockdown times for many many of you. Well, here in Sweden we still not on total lockdown but uh, lots of uh, restrictions. Um, as usual we are gonna take a quick look on all the majors including oil and gold and uh, try to guide you through the uh, upcoming uh, trading week. Uh, it's gonna be a short week uh, since on Friday it is a bank holiday on many places. Uh, New York will be open but not uh, all markets. So yeah guys as usual uh, please hit that like button for me and if you're new to the channel do not forget to subscribe. See you there. So welcome back guys, uh, a quick look at the calendar, uh, Monday uh, is a Chinese uh, bank holiday and uh, we do also have uh, from the CAD the uh, business outlook survey, uh, Tuesday cash rate and uh, the RBA statement for the Aussie, um, expectation is to hold the rate, they did cut not for a long time. Wednesday OPEC meeting, it's going to be important for oil traders as you saw. Last week we had a nice surge uh, on the oil due to those um, positive news, uh, but uh, no one is sure yet uh, what the agreement is. Thursday ECB monetary policy me meeting minutes, um, not expecting fireworks on that. Uh, CAD employment change and unemployment rate uh, is very important as well and gonna move uh, this market. We're getting that on Thursday since there is bank holiday uh, on Friday for Canada. And unemployment claims for the US also going to be very important. Friday we're going to get the CPI uh, month on month and core CPI for the US expectation or of course uh, that we get a lower reading this month. So uh, those are the news for um, next week um, and as usual we will start uh, by looking at the uh, Dixie chart, looking at the daily. It is a pretty tricky one here because um, as I mentioned last week you had a break to the downside, you have a break to the upside and a very very wide move. So this move to the downside um, when happened I was saying we're gonna see if this is a correction and continuation or if this was the impulse this is the correction and another continuation that's why it is a bit tricky at the moment and as we see on the daily time frame the Dixie did close back up above uh, this uh, important resistance uh, and uh, support area so on the daily and the weekly we have a close above that here is the the weekly candle so um, is it possible that the dollar keep pushing higher for another test to the upside? Yes. Is it possible that we may see this um, as a possible correction and we move lower? Yes, if we see a break of the trend line. So as as for now, uh, we're seeing uh, higher highs and higher lows on the four hour time frame and it, we we may see a continuation. So for me, uh, my filter going to be at, as far as we are above this uh, trend line here. If this trend line keep holding as support as it did here the last two times, um, then we may see a continuation. For um, a bearish move, we want to see a strong break below this level to then uh, really see that the correction is over and that the market fails to make a new high, then we may see continuation so we may establish some kind of channel here and keep following that and if we put it like this then we see that we have a possible uh, impulse which is the the flagpole and the correction inside that channel so if a break happened then you may see a continuation otherwise it is still a uh, possible continuation to the upside as far as we are above the trend line up okay Oil. So uh, as I said last week, each and every time oil is going to reach this level, going to be an important support area and uh, we had a nice bounce from that level. I mean at the 20s down here, uh, that is a, a very old good number. We uh, you need to go back all the way toward these areas around uh, 2001 to see such a price level. So that's why it was a critical area here and I kept saying that uh, even in our trading room buy each and every dip toward this area because the risk to reward is amazing. So we've got a nice uh, 
uh, trade on this first bounce then we got a correction and continuation now we are uh, trading at around the 30 which is a key structure level uh, at the moment because we have this uh, structure area here as far as there is no break above it you may get one more leg to the downside otherwise if we uh, see a break to the upside then we may be going and uh, gonna try to uh, test this uh, previous high looking left okay to then maybe start establishing some kind of bottom uh, for the uh, possible continuation so as i said uh, if we push higher then keep an eye on this level up here and uh, after that is the 42.50 that is the key um, major level that been tested uh, many times that got broke got broken lately yeah but that depends on how this uh, i think uh, this opec me meeting on on wednesday gonna give us a glimpse of uh, what to happen here next okay as for now one hour time frame nice bottom nice rounded bottom the price is back above the 200 moving average uh, it um, since the break below it uh, it never uh, broke above it but now we saw that we had a break above it a uh, correction and a continuation is on the way so next move if we break higher keep an eye on this level up here as i said as a possible level of uh, interest for the bears gold still <coughs> going sideways here uh, it's been a very boring week uh, um, a couple of weeks actually on gold not much is happening and i'm still having the same ideas now last week we um, we saw that uh, the range was very very narrow and uh, it was um, untradeable so uh, the market broke lower retested and put another low but there was no uh, continuation to the downside so we saw the price pushing back up all in all i still see um, the 1642 as a possible uh, resistance up here the 1550 is the the support so th these are the levels to play for now until we have a break out of them okay those are the level you need to keep an eye at Curious the daily time frame the opposite uh, of uh, the Dixie so as you see very wide moves so first we had a higher high then we got a lower low and then the price went back inside the question is are we gonna keep pushing to the downside or uh, there will be some uh, some kind of support what we could say here that our last move was a lower low and now we've got a lower high up here at this level so a lower low lower high possible continuation yes that is possible but also a bounce back to the upside from this support area is um, is also a possibility that we may see uh, some kind of uh, break to the upside but unless you see this uh, channel broken it is still to the downside for now so keep following the downside move but if you see a break above this channel with a flag following that then we may see a uh, return toward this area okay uh, otherwise for now keep selling the top of the channel if there is no break above it sterling usd also a nice push to the upside here uh, but before that nice push we we've got almost a 50 percent retracement or maybe a little bit more i think so let's measure that yeah as you see almost reached a 618 uh, of this leg to the downside which was a very strong move lower now this could be a correction and you may get some more downside but uh, we are uh, we need to consider that we are back above uh, this structure uh, important structure support and as far as the market is above that i think uh, the bulls still have a chance to uh, put another leg to the upside and this whole thing could uh, be a um, fake out or stop loss hunt or whatever you want to call it uh, so we need to play this uh, short term for now and see as far as we are below this range that we had last week very boring uh, week actually for uh, those who trade longer term because the market did not move much but for a uh, day trader and scalpers it was a great range uh, easy range to trade now it got broken so if the market um, um fail to break uh, back inside the range there is a possibility that we see another return toward uh, this area here 1.21 uh, it could be a possible uh, support area for uh, next week 
okay so uh, if that doesn't hold then the next support will be this neckline so uh, that is what we are watching and um, if we measure this move and we see what where is the area that we may expect some uh, action is the uh, area between the 50 and 618 that could be a uh, 2618 trade where you have uh, the double bottom a break above it and then a reversal back down toward the 618 to then continue higher so there is a possibility that you get a possible 2618 trade here on this market if you don't know what is a 2618 trade uh, just do a search about that in my channel and i have a video explaining how to trade that um, strategy USD JP so um, also been in a uh, consolidation here uh, and um, if we go down to the one hour time frame you see it more clearly now uh, nothing has changed here until we see a break out of this uh, little range so uh, what I'm looking for next week if we're gonna break higher once again if that would be the case then we look for a continuation move up but as the moment it is trading at uh, this uh, structure area a key uh, level of resistance 108.50 been a resistance for and support uh, area many times so um, there is a risk also that you may see the market uh, pushing to the downside from this uh, area yeah so keep trading this range until you have a break out of it keep it simple if there is no break then we may get another leg to the downside to then look for uh, taking profit or buying the bottom or if we get a break out we look for a retest if the retest hold above the range then we may see a, another leg to the upside toward 10970 New Zealand USD failing, uh, losing momentum um, let's not forget that this market um, is um, probably to reach uh, a completion of this leg here so i was we're looking on the monthly here we have the first leg we have the correction and another completion move is very possible now we had a wick last month uh, a big wick here and uh, i think there is a possibility that we fill that wick uh, this month uh, and maybe continue lower as i said so um, if we go to the daily time frame we see that we have a nice break we have a retest and there is a potential continuation to the downside but we need to follow that on the lower time frame so on the lower time frame we look at the four hour we have a nice reversal top here after this uh, move to then fail to make new highs start making lower lows and lower highs so it is uh, topping here and uh, there is potentially continuation to the downside so uh, short term i would say keep following this small impulses correction impulse correction another impulse collection as far as this keep on going we should keep following the same scenario moving to the downside okay back to the bottom of this range or maybe even lower toward uh, at around the monthly s1 uh, area okay so it is a pretty simple scenario here to uh, play usd chief also um, very tricky now we had a v-shaped move we had uh, another dip to the downside which make a first higher low right now and this um, also could open the way for more upside to retest this area here and uh, we could start uh, talking about a possible impulse correction another impulse but if we go down to the lower time frame we see that uh, we have a nice but not strong uh, s uh, sloping on the lower time frame so um, I, I would say uh, to not confuse things keep following this uh, shorter term uh, trend which is higher highs higher lows another higher high correction continuation and as far as we are holding above the trend line keep buying until we reach uh, these levels up here okay as far as uh, the trend line is not broken keep buying those dips and uh, look for continuation if we see a strong break below that trend line then we consider uh, the situation as a possible uh, continuation lower but not only a break you need to see a break you need to see a correction something like this below the trend line to then 
start looking to sell okay one candle only will not be enough as a break and a trend reversal that is never uh, enough for something like that to happen usd cad um, we see that after reaching uh, the top of this <laughs> price action up here we did tag that level almost and uh, never tried above it but we reached a key structure area uh, got a reversal candle a bearish uh, candle on the weekly then on the daily we make a lower high we broke uh, structure here and what we have right now on the daily a possible impulse correction and we're looking to see if there will be another move to the downside especially if oil will start move higher that will help the cat a lot so on lower time frame you see it clearly here failed new high so this is your first lower high then a lower low so this start to be a some kind of trend correction right now keep an eye on this correction draw a trend line or something like that and as soon as you see a break below it consider a continuation move on this market okay so i'm trying guys to give you short term ones to keep it simple because it is not easy trading when the market are behaving as they do but uh, if you go down to four hour and one hour time frame you will find some short term tra trades that uh, could help you uh, a lot also usd same situation as new zealand usd so we had um, a strong um, rejection here but still a bearish candle and there is a, a possibility that we fill this wick the market on the monthly is trading already at this uh, key structure uh, level and uh, if we look on uh, the daily time frame you see that we had a strong break to the downside to retest and potential continuation is to come and uh, on lower time frame it is pretty simple here uh, the market failed to make new highs here broke the trend line did a retest and start reversing to the downside now what i want to see next week for more downside is of course a break below this level to then open the door for a move all the way down back toward monthly s1 uh, a huge trade if it happens because uh, the risk to reward is um, great as well uh, it would look something like this on this one if you see the break you wait for um, a retest okay so if you see the break here you wait for the retest and continuation so if you look at the risk to reward almost uh, 1.7 R which is uh, great um, and uh, that would be um, a very nice move uh, to try and uh, catch next week but we want we need to see that break uh, to happen otherwise this could be a uh, correction and maybe one more leg to the upside so you need to see that strong break to the downside before taking the decision yeah don't rush be patient so uh, yeah guys that was it for uh, the youtube uh, version of uh, this overview thanks a lot and uh, see you next week bye bye